Hello again. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This time I'm going to discuss one of the main issues that my patients always ask me about. And it's regarding one medication that almost always either they heard from somebody that it's good or these are medications that were provided to them by the relatives from the United States. And they always ask me the question whether they can take multivitamins. So this topic on multivitamins actually uh, was uh, requested by one of my subscribers if I can talk about multivitamins and are these medications really necessary for health purposes. So first, what are multivitamins? So multivitamins are simply multi-minerals, or we simply call them vitamins. Uh, they're actually available as dietary supplements, and they come in a form of tablets or capsules. And for kids, they come in chewable gummies, and they can be in powders or liquids. But what's important is if you ask patients why they are on multivitamins, most of them will tell you that they are taking multivitamins because they want to improve their health and wellness. So it's for overall health and wellness purposes. But at the same time, theories have uh, been heard that these multivitamins are taken by most patients because they feel that they are not taking the right amount of nutrients in their diet. So they simply use a multivitamin as a nutrient gap because of the nutrient gap. So they use it as fillers because they believe that there are certain gaps in the requirements of nutrients to provide them a healthy life. However, if you look closely at multivitamins, they are not approved by the FDA as medications. They are approved by the FDA as dietary supplements. Thereby, since they are not approved as a medication, they don't need to undergo studies. The supplement industry is also notorious for actually fraud because we have already studies to show that not all vitamins contain equal levels of the vitamins that they actually market. At the same time, most of the products may actually have nutrients in their label that may not contain all of the listed nutrients. So you have to be very careful also when you choose vitamins to take. Remember, they are not medications, rather they are dietary supplements. So the question is, are these multivitamins really useful? I have going, I'm going to review with you one very important study. In this Annals of Internal Medicine, three major studies were published on December 17 of 2013. And the editor editors of this publication found that among the different studies on multivitamins, that multivitamin and mineral supplements, in short, did not work any better than placebo pills. The first study that was reviewed was based on a randomly assigned almost 6,000 male doctors, elderly, at the age of 65, who were given Centrum Silver. This is one of the very famous multivitamin we have in the market. And half of this patient population received a look-alike placebo pill. Placebo pill means it looks like the actual Centrum Silver, but does not contain the product. Because most of us feel that we are feeling better because we are taking a certain pill. That's called placebo, when in fact it does not contain the active ingredient. So what did they find? That for elderly people, if you give multivitamins to boost memory, 
that after 12 years, there was actually no difference in the memory problems between these two groups. Interesting. The second study, on the other hand, looked at the effect of multivitamins on heart problems. 1,700 heart attack survivors were enrolled in an intravenous chelation therapy. I am now of some of my patients who are actually into chelation intravenous therapy, thinking that this chelation therapy works. It's an intravenous daily regimen of high doses of vitamins and minerals versus placebo. And what did they found out, find out? That after an average of 55 months, or around five years, there was no difference between the two groups in terms of the number of deaths, second heart attacks, strokes, episodes of chest pain, and procedures to open black arteries. In short, there was no effect. The third study was also interesting because this assessed the evidence from 27 studies on vitamin and mineral supplements that included more than 450,000 people. This was conducted for the US Preventive Services Task Force. They found out that there was no evidence that the supplements offer benefit for heart disease or that they delay death from any cause. Therefore, are multivitamins needed? So if my patients ask me that question, I have only one answer and it's no. Remember, most of my patients who are diabetics with high blood pressure and high cholesterol are already on multiple medications. So adding a multivitamins which have chemicals in it could probably add burden to the body in terms of metabolism when in fact we don't have any evidence of their benefit. In fact, I always tell them that most people actually do not need to take vitamin supplements because you can actually get all the vitamins and minerals that you need by eating a healthy balanced diet. Vitamins specifically like vitamin C, iron or calcium, yes, are essential nutrients in the body, but our body only needs them in small amounts. And we can easily fulfill our requirements with our daily intake of healthy foods. The bottom line is, first, there's therefore a growing evidence to suggest that taking multivitamins is totally useless. It has little or nothing to offer in terms of health benefits. In fact, what I fear most of multivitamins is that certain multivitamins might even cause harm. Remember, these are chemicals of no approved therapeutic claim. These are dietary supplements, and therefore we don't know if they contain impurities that may harm the liver or the kidney. The results of the studies that I have discussed with you in short are so clear and consistent that my appeal to all of you is to stop wasting money on multivitamins for the purpose of a possible health benefit. So when the battle of medications has a statement, no approved therapeutic claim, beware. Or if you see a battle like that, which states, that the standards have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration and thereby this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. It simply means that you're taking a medication or a dietary supplement that there is no proof that it really works. So if you like my videos, please feel free to click subscribe and the notification button, uh, a button because my next video will probably be more interesting. Because my, there's another question that if multivitamin is not necessary, are there individual vitamins like vitamin B or vitamin D that I may consider helpful? So stay tuned for the next video, but please, Again, 
when you look at your bottle of multivitamins in the future or tomorrow, look at the label and be sure if, make sure that um, if it states there that there's no approved therapeutic claim or this medication has not been evaluated by the FDA, please don't take them because they, you are putting unnecessary burden on your kidney and on your liver to metabolize these chemicals of no benefit. So stay tuned for the next video. I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe and please click on those links that I put on my video for, uh, for the other videos that have already posted in my channel. Thank you very much again. Feel free to uh, email me or send me a message in my Facebook Messenger for any topics that you would like me to discuss in my YouTube channel. With that, thank you very much, and I hope to see you again.